All right, guys, back. And I figured, you know what? I'm coming over here to where all the sand is being displaced by the Aurora. Just kind of curious if we could actually get it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, it's a sand shark right there. Kind of curious if we could actually enter the Aurora from here, though. Might be a little bit safer, you don't know. But just kind of going. Oh, maybe. Might be worth a shot, you guys. Let's do it. Ooh. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I do have two fire extinguishers, by the way. I have coral. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I a little heckin' uh, island right here. I guess we could go check this thing out real quick. But of course, we have the one that I had my my drop thing. My pff, whatever you call it. Uh, there's just a bunch of metal salvage here. Nothing really worthwhile. Yeah, just a bunch of metal salvage. Nah, not too bad, I guess, but... I do have the one that was in my life pod. And then I also made another one. It required three titanium to craft. And right now, yeah, I'm not seeing any, like, other, like, supply things here. And I don't think you can get in on this bit, maybe. I don't know. Can I actually get in on this? Oh, I'm out of the water. Don't think I'm in. Oh, here we go. I'm on top of the Aurora right now. I'm climbing it. I'm climbing it. <laughs> Hopefully I don't fall off and I can die. I'm, like, on an engine right now, too. It's kind of crazy. Let's see if we can actually... Get in on this thing. Because the front of it, of course, is like heckin' ransacked, but oh my gosh, this place is huge. I don't know. I have a feeling you're not supposed to come on this bit. Uh-oh. Ooh. It's rocking. Hardcore right now, you guys. Yeah, I don't think you're mm, maybe already right there or something like that. I don't know. I guess I can go check. I kinda wanna come around with my seam off. <laughs> It'll be a little bit faster for us. Surprisingly, we're moving- Oh my gosh, I'm floating. Okay, yeah. This just kinda shows, yeah, you're not supposed to be- And it looks like low texture as heck. So yeah, I think this is just evidence that, hey, you're not supposed to be here, because I'm literally walking on air right now. <laughs> like, what is going on? <laughs> Let's get our sea glide out. Let's go back to the sea- Oh wait, hold on, we have another thing. Another piece of the, uh- Oh, yep, there you go, bridge fragment. It's gonna be- That's all of them, isn't it? Yes! Cyclops Bridge Blueprint! Blueprint There's another one right here. So I guess we're just going to get like titanium or something from it, which I guess I could just scan. And I don't know, maybe it's going to get. Yeah, it's just a little bit of titanium. Uh, okay, I'll just drop that garbage. I don't need that trash. Drop. Drop. Oh, drop. There you go. Drop those. Don't want to have a heckin' Reaper behind us. Let's see, it was inside. Um, is that a. <gasps> That's a pow. Wow! Man, I was about to say, like, I forgot to make an extra power cell for my sea monsters in case I needed it, but wow, we just found one right there. That is lucky as heck. Man. Yeah, I kind of want to go to the back of it, just because uh, maybe you can actually have an entrance back there. It seems like it might be a little bit safer back there, but at the same time, the front of it... Ooh, that looks like maybe an engine of a, of a thing. Oh, ran right into my thing. That's just quartz. Okay. That looks like the engine. Oh, yep. Cyclops engine. Mm-hmm. So, that's two. Yeah, two out of three. I don't know what the other part of the engine looked like. Uh, I don't think I even pointed out that it was an engine until we scanned it. So, probably didn't look like an engine now to think about it. Let's go see. We have another thing right here. Man, there's so many of these around here, you guys. Supply crates. And it's just a piece of water. Or, bottle. Ah, I guess I'll take it real quick. My water's kind of getting a little bit low. Don't really want to use my emergency set of water just yet if I don't need to. Cool, this is what those supply crates are for. Just give me, you know, supply. That's another piece of the, uh, the bridge right there. Don't need that garbage. Okay, here's the back of the, yes, the back of the Aurora. I did just say, hey, you're probably not supposed to be, at, be back here, but... I see. I don't know, maybe the, uh, Reaper. Maybe that thing's going to be hanging out back here again. It's going to basically be like, hey, don't even think about it, hey, you know? Oh. Things are shaking our core. I'm just kind of keeping my eye out for a potential reaper. Let's see. Mm, doesn't look like we can enter from this. Yeah, I might want to go around to the front of it. Ah, yeah. Doesn't seem like you do anything here in the back. Okay, I true. definitely want to stay near the surface. Man, things are rocking hardcore over here, you guys. Wow. Now, what is that thing? Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Uh-oh, that is it. Oh, my gosh. Again, another Reagan Reaper. No, what in the world? Oh, sheesh, is it dead? Is it dead? No. Oh, oh, it's dead now. Oh, my gosh. Okay, that's twice now. Go up to the surface. Man, you know what? You know what? We're not coming back to the engine anymore. <laughs> Oh my god, let's just go to the front. What is wrong with it? No, it's still behind me! 
Oh no, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Keep going. Oh my gosh. Do not look behind you. Oh, especially because of how dark it is. That's what I'm talking about, you guys. It was, it was so dark, I was constantly looking for him. But man, ah, you think you'd be able to enter the back of it just because it's closer to where you landed. Unless you land, of course, like completely randomly, I guess, right? But still, wow. Yeah, it's not falling with us anymore. God, that's the second sea moth. That thing has like full power and everything too, but I guess if anything, at least we have a power cell that we just picked up. We just make yet another sea moth. Sea moth Mark III. <laughs> Going through so many of these things so fast, you guys. It's stupid. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm gonna pause the recording and I'll see you guys at the entrance of the whatever or the front of it where it's like broken off of the Aurora, whatever. I'll see you guys over there. God. It's getting ridiculous how many times I have to make these sea moths nowadays, you guys. Wow. Uh, I'll see you guys here in a bit. Alright, guys, back. And man, I'm doing a little bit of reading on the Reaper Leviathan and stuff. And I think maybe it doesn't immediately kill the sea moth. Like, I don't think it's like a done deal after, like, it grabs on. So, I think as long as the sea moth, like, has decent durability, isn't, like, almost broken or something like that, I guess. Maybe you could stay inside of it and then it'll let go of it eventually. I don't know. But then again, it says, ah, man, I don't know. I, I guess, I guess it's always worth worth trying out, you know. See if we could actually do it. Oh man, I left some stuff back at home. I forgot I had to empty out my inventory for a bunch of juicy loot and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I left my uh, propulsion cannon at home, and I, I think you might be able to use the stasis rifle on it as well. I'm not 100 sure, but maybe you can. Who knows? So if it does take the sea moth, maybe we could hit it with a stasis rifle, and then it'll freeze it, and then we can get back in the sea moth, and maybe we can escape or something like that. So. It will take a little bit of a, like, skill and stuff like that. Golly, the frame rate's garbage. Down to 19 right now. Why is it so bad? Man! Jeez, that is so horrifying. It was never this bad. Sheesh, oh yeah, and I made a, uh, uh, what do you call it? We're in the world, oh, there it is right there. Creature decoy, I made one of those. So there's that if we ever want to use it as well. Frame rate just tripled right there for no reason. All right, well, let's go back inside the Seamoth, and I suppose go back to the front. Oh my gosh, down to 19 again. God, oh, man, that is so horrifying. I really don't know why the frame rate is so garbage. I'm pretty sure it's got to be because of how much like building and stuff there is, and maybe stuff inside of my chests or something like that. I don't know storage. I don't know. Either way, let's go back to the part of the Aurora like oh, that's like broken towards the front of it and stuff like that. That seems like the relative safe area. Like, it, it is like shaking stuff. Well, then again, it is shaking in the back of it, too, isn't there? Hold on, hold on. Let's make sure. Okay, there it is right there. Just making sure we're heading the right direction. But I guess we go over here. We're going to need to use a laser cutter every now and then. Of course, use the fire extinguisher. And maybe even use the uh, propulsion cannon. Maybe use the stasis rifle. So that's why I've got all these things, you know? So, yeah. I'm pretty prepared right now. And I'm not bragging. But, and if we do get attacked again by a Le Le Reaper Leviathan, <laughs> definitely want to make sure that we stay inside of the sea moth just in case it's able to survive. And if we do die, we may lose some items here and there. Maybe we'll still want to keep the sea moth. I don't know. It's not the hardest thing in the universe to make. It's just kind of pesky, tedious to try and remake it and stuff like that, you know? So, this is, of course, the third one. Oh, just ran into a heckin' thing. This is, of course, the third one I've made so far. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to run dry on materials here and there. So, I can't just keep making more and more sea moths over and over and over. So, definitely want to conserve my sea moths when possible. Make sure I don't heckin' just let them go and die, you know? So, of course, it's going to be a guaranteed destroyed if I just kind of leave it out and that thing just kind of plays with the uh, sea moth and destroys it, you know? So, definitely want to continue running away or at least staying inside the sea moth if we do get, like, latched up with the mandibles and stuff like that of the Reaper Leviathan again. So, anyways, we're getting close again, I think. Yep, here it is right here. Don't know exactly where we need to go to, like, go inside of it, though. Here we go. Yeah, this definitely looks like somewhere you could walk. Cave crawler, though. Okay, okay, this has got to be it. Like, what in the world? They're in the water, though. Like, I don't think I've ever... This has got to be it. Come on. There are cave crawlers here. Yep, here we go. Oh, yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. There's even some of those uh, things here as well. Oh, oh, sheesh. Taking damage. Definitely want to get myself uh, some water and stuff like that as well. I want to bring my Seamoth a little bit closer. Oh, what in the world? Don't access the upgrades. What in the world? Get out of that. There we go. Let's try and take this thing all the way up to the shore. Boom. All right. <laughs> Just because why not, right? Anyways, there's that, there's that thing dead. Okay, well, here we are finally on the Aurora. Golly. Aside. A little bit of water. I guess I'll take it. Okay, let's get our uh, fire extinguisher as well. We have a cave crab somewhere. 
Or maybe this is a different one. I don't know. Hold on. Yeah, it's got to be the same one. I can't scan it. It's got to be the same. All right, let's get a fire extinguisher. Oh, whoa, a little bit of lag. Oh, even more shaking. Let's get ourselves a fire extinguisher. And I suppose, is that going to work? Uh, seems like it. Okay, so that is extinguishing some flames. So definitely want to... Ooh, it's down to 78 now. Golly. Okay. So it does indeed extinguish flames, which is great. But I do not want to waste it on just random pieces like that. So let's continue exploring here, you guys. Let's go up to the Aurora. It seems like a straight up path up here. Just a bunch of cave critters, and that's about it. Oh, man. What in the world are these guys doing? They're not doing anything. They're just kind of... They have no, like, mouth or anything. Like that's, Is that a giant eyeball at the top of his head or something? I don't know. Heckin' face hugger, that's what it is. I don't even have a face. Get out of here. You're wasting your time with me. Oh, another fella. Man! Gah, come on. I'm gonna have to take a first aid here pretty soon. Man, the, the attacks on this thing are crazy stupid. <laughs> you have to, like, attack with, like, right click instead of left click like every other game out there. All right, come on. There we go. Caution. Scans show the digestive tracts of nearby life forms contain human tissues. Oh, that's not good. They've been eating human flesh. So I guess maybe someone did make it here... You know, maybe they're talking about the dead bodies that were already on the ship that died, and they're just kind of feasting on some human flesh. Delicious human flesh. Oh, I guess we go around this, maybe? If that's the case... Oh, seems like it. Oh, okay. Well, we have another cave crawler here. He's gonna attack me and do- Oh, never mind, he just- did <laughs> He's like and gone. Oh, there we go, there's a thing up there, and there's another, uh, loot crate. There's another cave crawler there as well, and it's nighttime. Oh, jeez. More of these things. Do it- Oh my god! Doing insane damage to me, of course. Basically killing me in one shot. Le Reaper, Leviathan, Cave Crawlers. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, kill them already. They well, they keep running away, and then they keep, like, coming towards you, so... Who knows what you're supposed to do? Oh, is he going to come to- Oh, yep, oh, what well, runs- I really don't know when to attack these guys. It's terrible. Anyways, fire- Oh, my gosh, finally! Found another fire extinguisher. First aid kit. Yes, I definitely need that. Golly. Well, these fire extinguishers don't seem to last very long, but thankfully gave me one right there. Oh, here we go. Yeah, here's a pathway I need to use a fire extinguisher on. Seems like a uh, thing right there. Does that say locked? That does say locked. Hmm. I don't know why that says locked. It seems pretty open to me. <laughs> Guess we keep on. There we go. Airlocks. Cargo Bay 3, Administration. Yeah, we need to go to the Administration, I think, right? It's definitely want to watch out for that. Aurora systems are running on local reserve power. Unable to remotely download black box data. Whoops. Well, I guess we go down there. We go down there. Either way. Integrating new PDA data. I guess we go to the Cargo Bay real quick, because it looks like there might not be that much. Seems like it might be, like, kind of... Got a bunch of random trash packing up the area, so you probably can't see anything, so, yeah, look at that. Yeah, might as well- oh, wait. Nah, I can't go back there. Yeah, I was about to say, maybe there's some st stuff I could scan here. But yeah, it seems like it's just packed up to the ceiling, can't go around, so we're pretty much forced to go to the administration, like I said. So, let's get our fire extinguisher back out. Unfortunately, it's like dark as heck, besides all the fire, of course. So, I can't really see too well. But I guess we uh, did we pick up that PDA thing? I think we did. I want to listen to that here in a moment. No, 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 we're right now. I'm like, it is dangerous. There's probably going to be fellas trying to heck and kill me. Let's see what this engineering drone thing says. Uh, oh man, it's rather long. Golly. I guess we can listen. Nah, we can listen to it a little bit later. I don't think we want to listen to it while we're surrounded by flames, almost like I'm dead, right? Sheesh. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, get rid of all that. And more flames here. Looks like a terminal up there for me to use. So, oh, there we go. And I guess this is where we input, input that code. Oh, well, this one's basically dead. Okay. Uh, get another one. That one's 1%, and there we go, 100%. All right. Boom. Probably don't need to get rid of that one. Prawn suit mark three. More like Seamoth mark three. <laughs> Pick a prawn suit poster. Land. I guess I'll be putting that up in my base. More fire? There we go. Got rid of that. What is this? Trash? Looks like it. All right. Well, what is that one? Oh, that's... Hold on, that's a... Oh, it's a battery. All right, well... Oh, yeah, data terminal, and what is this? PDA thing? Yep, PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Anything for me to scan here, though? What about that trash? Oh, yeah, I can... Well, <laughs> I can actually scan the trash can. All right, maybe I'll need that for my lounge. With my bedroom and stuff. Just make it look like I'm throwing away bad ideas. Acquired. Yeah. All right, let's uh, do the data terminal thing. There you go. Altera launches the Aurora data downloads. New PDA. This might be a pretty safe area to listen to the new stuff, you know? So, there you go. I guess we'll listen to the Aurora Engineering Drone Log. Exiting sleep mode. Loading voice 
voice recognition. Engineer Barkley and Chief Technology Officer Liu identified. Drone, get me a propulsion cannon. <laughs> repulsion cannon retrieved. Hey, Berkeley, install that circuit box with that repulsion cannon and you'll punch a hole in the cargo bay. <laughs> Damn it, drone, I said propulsion, not repulsion. Recalibrate sensors. Sensors recalibrated. Sensors aren't the problem. I tweak the program. It's like you now. It doesn't like being told what to do. <sighs> drone, I know... His name's Albert now. Albert, I know it's not your fault, but it would really help me do my job if you'd bring me what I asked for. Thanks for your time. Propulsion cannon retrieved. Thank you. Now go away. <laughs> Entering hibernation mode. Boss, this hobby of yours isn't making my job any easier. Or safer. Maybe so, but it's all that's stopping me from being so bored I take a spacewalk in my skivvies. Yeah, you know, remember, CTO you, uh, she didn't survive, I forget which one it was, I think she was the one that was like 500 meters below, like on the, like, seabed or something like that, I don't remember. And it was notes to self, I don't know what this is. Notes to self, so here we are, finally, in open space. We cross the galaxy to install a phase gate, to send ships to mine resources, to build more expensive ships, to install fancier phase gates. Are we trying to exhaust the galaxy or just ourselves? <laughs> 1806, uh, I guess that's June 18th, U's birthday, CTOU, I guess. 40 weeks before we get home. 400 weeks, it feels like, before we get home. Not enough credits Altera is paying me. 1454, cargo bay code. Ooh. Well, there we go. We have the code to the cargo bay, if it even heckin' works. And I don't even know which one it is, because that one's cargo bay 3 that we we're just at. And of course, that one's like blocked off, so maybe it's Cargo Bay 1, 2, 3 billion, I don't know. <laughs> Altera launches the Aurora. God, man, look at all this stuff. I really want to read all that? I'm like, eh, it's so much I can stuff. If you guys want to read that, feel free to pause the recording and just kind of read it on your own if you guys want. Maybe I'll read it a little bit later, but for right now, I don't think we have the time. There's a lot of exploring and stuff like that to do, so. Anyways, yeah, I don't have anything else there to download or whatever, so. Anyways, I guess we'll keep on exploring. Get our uh, fire extinguisher back out, just in case we need it. Administration that way, cargo. I don't know if there's anything else here, but I definitely want to go to the cargo bay. See if there's any juicy loot. Oh, wait, hold on. There's a another entrance or something over here for us to get. Man, it's blocked off. Yeah, I can't really do anything there. Oh, although I might be able to do a bit of parkour. Oh, 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 sheesh. Man, I just fell right through that. What in the world? Okay, whatever. <laughs> Maybe I do some parkour here. Yeah. No, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, oh, maybe. Oh, yes. There we go, you guys. Man. All right. So I guess you can go around it. All right. Well, I got some stuff. What, what did I get? Oh, Cyclops bridge blueprint. Yeah, we have that already. Uh, the engine is two to two out of three. Other stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Prawn suit. Three out of 20. <laughs> Hopefully we find more parts to the prawn suit here pretty soon. Oh, train the trash can, of course. Yeah, I can't forget about that, right? <laughs> Ooh, we got a poster. Yep, definitely want that. Uh, water. Might want to have some of that. Yep. And a cured peeper. Yeah, I'm not getting any food here, so definitely want to watch out here, you guys. Alright, well, we're going down to the cargo bay. We have the cargo bay hole, or code, so we're fine on that. Oh, another battery. Don't need that garbage. If we do end up needing these batteries to use... Oh, another one. Golly. Oh, we have the code. Hold on. This is the cargo bay thing. I guess we can look at our notes. See what the code was. Scans of damage to the Aurora do not match any known offensive technologies. Okay, well, I'm trying to remember where that one was that we just listened to. Oh yeah, the drone one. Oh wait, no, 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 no. It was the note to self or something like that, right? Ah, where is that at? So, oh, here it is right here. Uh, 1454. Okay, let's go. One, four, five, four, and... Oh, there we go. Alright, well, we're in. We're in. Oh, forklift. Place is relatively undamaged. I'm like, we are on the inside of it, so... Of course, I guess most of the damage would be on the outside. Did, did a critter just fall? I don't know if a critter just fell down. I don't know if that's even worth extinguishing that. There might be some here. For us to use, you know? Yeah, look at this. We're literally doing parkour. <laughs> Can I go up there, though? Hold on. Oh, there we go. Hmm... I'm not seeing anything right now, and I don't want to use, like, fire extinguishers when I don't need to. Man, look at all this cargo. Of course, like, most of it was, like, strewn all over the map. Oh, yeah, there we go. Energy bar. Nutrient bar right there. That's what I'm talking about. Definitely want that. I want to use our light so we actually start using the, uh, 
the batteries. Oh, what is in here? Nothing? Nah, nothing in there. I did get a comment from someone saying, hey, can you use a laser cutter to open up one of these cargo things? And I don't think you can, because it doesn't give me an option. Uh, I don't think I want to use my fire extinguisher on that. Because it doesn't see- oh wait, can I use this heckin' thing? Nah, I guess I can't. Hmm. Alright, let's we'll keep on traversing around. Big cargo things here, though. Not really seeing anything... ...substantial for us to scan- oh, here we go! PDA! Trans-government profile, Altera Group. Integrating new PDA data. Alright, well, I guess... I don't know, it seems like these forklifts might be able to- Nah, they can't fit inside those cargo things. Yeah, I'm not- speaking of cargo, I'm, I'm like, I'm not really seeing anything inside the actual cargo. Like, boxes and stuff like that, you know? You think there would be something in here. At least for us to scan, but maybe not right now. I'm like, it is a cargo room. <laughs> you think there'd be Juicy Lou here? I know, it's got our scan around. Maybe there is stuff for us to scan. Whoa, what is this thing? Is this a forklift? <laughs> I guess it's the, uh, the big old garage or something like that. Oh, oh, hold on. That is a, oh, engine for, yeah, we are have the engine, uh, no, we have the bridge. Now we have the engine. There we go. I was about to say. Oh, water down there. Or is that ice or something? I don't know. Hold on. Is there something here? Oh, yeah, we have a light. <laughs> Forgot about that. Oh, yeah, we have a ladder here. Might want to get rid of Might want to... Oh, yeah, we don't... Ah, I guess I'll get rid of this. Right next to the ladder. There we go. Can we go down that? Yeah, it's not even letting me go down that. Okay, I guess we have to go down the slope then. Okay. Well, kind of interesting stuff around here so far. It's kind of like one of those uh, little elevator things, slanted elevator type things. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> Bunch of water down here, though. Yeah, okay, well, we're getting into watery bits here, you guys. Thankfully, I have my extra suit, right? Or my extra tank. Yep, I do. And is it charged up? Yes, it does. 180 seconds of oxygen. There's a fish fellow down there. Is that a peeper? Uh, they're probably radioactive fellows now. Oh, wait. Bleeder! Hold on. Scan these little fellows. Hold on, what in the world? Why is it taking so long? God, there we go. Bleeder! Alright, I want to get my light out. Thankfully, we have a lot of batteries kind of saved up. Uh, drive room at Seamoth Bay. Because we can go here, repair that thing. Of course, I do need to get the repair gun out. And repair it. Look at this, I'm, I'm starting to get the hang of all this stuff here, you guys. <laughs> oh, man, it just took me a million years to try and heck and find my way into here, though. Golly. And... There we go. Honestly, not complaining about it, like, not holding my hand and stuff like that. Sometimes, like, whenever games hold your hand and tell you exactly where to go, what to do. Oh, laser cutter thing needs to be over here. It, it does kind of get boring, and it's, it's kind of fun discovering things on your own. I, I do like that. It doesn't uh, hold your hand like other games kind of do. Oh, laser cut. Here we go. So, yeah. Honestly, kind of cool. And, oh, yeah, we have to hold it down. And whenever it does tell you to do stuff, it, 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 it is kind of subtle. It doesn't like straight up say, hey, you have to do this, this, and this. Like uh, like the code thing. It was kind of hidden away in the blueprints and stuff like that. So you had to go find the code on your own. It didn't just say, hey, maybe you could find the code in your blueprints. Oh, what in the world? Oh, no, no. Bleeder. Bleeder, get the heck off me, you piece of trash. I'll kill you and I'll eat you. Where is he? He should be a quick bleeder, but I guess not. Being a bleeder, I guess uh, he was sucking on my blood. Is this the- oh, there you go, now it's done, 100%. Ooh, man, that's bright as heck. Oh, lockers. Wait, what was this again? I forgot what this place was called. Oh, man, um... Oh, wow. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, so we can get oxygen there, uh, life kit, or med kit right there, that's nice. We got a PDA. Sweet offer! Integrating new PDA data. What is that? Oh, another battery. Man, there's a lot of batteries here. Disinfected water, I don't have room for that, but... I guess I could drink one and, of course, replace that. Like, show, boom. All right, can't open up these other lockers. Although I do have a laser cutter, right? So what's stopping me? I said for the game saying, hey, don't go in those people's lockers, even though they're probably hacking dead and they won't hacking know. <laughs> uh, oh, another PDA. Definitely gonna wanna listen to this, you guys. Integrating new PDA data. We're getting a lot of these around here, so might be getting a little bit overwhelmed. So might wanna listen to them so we don't end up having like 50,000 of them here in a bit that we're gonna have to listen to, but. What's this? Another battery. Golly. Don't think we need to replace the battery on anything. I like my sea glide. It's fine. Uh, my flashlight's 73. Nothing else really needs to be charged, you know? And I don't really want to get rid of an inventory space for that. Not seeing like a prawn suit thing yet. What's this? Pro prawn. Oh, wow. This is good. Prawn bay. I guess we're going in there, you guys. Might want to use a fire extinguisher here. Which one's which? Oh, I guess I can get rid of this one. Yeah, drop that. A fire extinguisher. I guess I can drop that. Just because I'm like, it's it's depleted. I don't think you'd fill them up. I'm like, they're not even that expensive either. Like three titanium or something like that to make a... Uh... But I do need a working fabricator, so I either, either need to go back home to make one or find another 
fire extinguisher here, so we're down to two. Okay, that's the one that we already started using. Probably don't need to be using the fire extinguisher on these bits, but I just wanted to make sure. Don't want to take any risks over here. Don't want to light myself on I can fire. <laughs> oh, come on. Wait, hold on. Is that the laser tool? Oh, that is. It made they look so similar. The repair gun and the laser tool. I guess, if anything, the repair gun doesn't have that little bit of red at the end of it, on the tip of it, you know? Kind of makes sense that it does, because, you know, laser gun. There you go. That's open. Let's go. So this is the prawn bay, huh? Oh, that's the locker room, it just said. Okay, so there's some electricity memes going on there. I don't know if I want to go down there, but... What was that noise? I guess it's just a... Oh, oh, whoa! Intact-looking prawn uh, suits. What if we could find one that's not, like, floating above the thing like that? Maybe we can scan these ones. Hold on. Picking up a faint black box signature originating on the other side of the hull breach in this room. Wait, is that one right there? It is! Holy, it is, that's a full one right there. Or, it's just the fragments. Hold on. Um, prawn suit fragments go- Why does it say 25% 1 out of 4 now? Okay, well there's like- Oh, these must be like- Is that a, uh- Is that a battery charger, but for- What do you call them? Power cells? I think it is, but like, it's not letting me scan it. No signal? Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. A lot of places here that we do need to, uh, what is that? Oh yeah, power cell, wow. I guess I could pick it up. I'm like, oh yeah, no inventory space. What about this one? Power cell? Mm-hmm. But I guess, uh... We have a lot of battery. We have a lot of, like, water bottles and stuff in our inventory. We don't have any room right now, you know? But... Living quarters... I guess we go here. Oh, bar table. <laughs> I guess I can scan that. Oh, look, there's the poster there in the background. It just says, keep calm with a little critter. A little critter with a, uh... There you go, fire extinguisher. Blueprint like a space helmet on. A little fishbowl on its head. Yeah, I definitely want to extinguish this place. Oh, it has a PDA, though, so there's that. But definitely want to extinguish this place. Give me a heckin' thing of chips. <laughs> oh, a bunch of liquor and beer and stuff like that. Let's see what else is... Oh, another fire. Oh, nice. All right, well, that's great. So whenever this one's down and empty... What's that? Baked potatoes, col coleslaw, make a cheese, garlic, bread, biscuit, dinner, chicken and pork, a barbecue, sliced beef, baked beans, ham and cheese, open all week... And hours four to nine. Frontiersman discount available. Welcome. Check our specials. <laughs> oh man, this place is on fire! Literally. <laughs> All right. Oh god. I thought that was safe. Okay, there we go. That one's completely depleted. Let's drop one right there. Okay, and then let's pick up this new one. Of course. There we go. All right. Can I even extinguish these? Must take a little while. Yeah, just like in real life, you have to actually like point at it for a little while. You can't just like gloss over it, you know. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever used a fire extinguisher, but there we go. We had to use one for like, just in case, you know, so just, you know, in case anything happens, at least everyone knows how to use one. But anyways, I don't think there's anything else in this room worthwhile. Just chairs and a literal trash can. <laughs> Supply over here. Whoa, this is what I like to hear. Filtered water. To, uh, oh, nutri oh, nutrient blocks. Yeah, let's drink a let's drink one of those. Let's eat a nutrient block just because I'm like we're getting a couple more right here. Another thing of water, might as well use that. And honestly, we're picking up a lot of stuff here, you guys. Like it's crazy good, getting a lot of resources, materials that we need, sustenance, and that's a canteen. And there's a thing that's on fire. I don't think I could open it unless I extinguish it. <laughs> yeah, I'll try to extinguish it. See what's inside. See what's inside the supply crate. There you go. Container. Can I not open it yet? What in the world? Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, it's a little bit of water. <laughs> ah, a bottle of water is on fire, you guys. Watch out. Oh, another one over here, though, with uh, nutrient block. Yeah, we have a lot of these around here. But around here somewhere... Oh, hold on. This is cabin one. Mm, don't think I'm able to go in there. I don't think I have the code. That's another carry-all thing, but... That's probably got a... Hold on. Open storage. Empty. Can I open storage on this one, though? Why can't I open storage? Whatever. Well, the other one was empty. I assume that one might be empty as well. Yet another picture of that celebrity right there. <laughs> oh, man. So many of those things. Oh, can I scan this uh, carry-all thing? Uh, I guess I can't. I guess I can't make one if, even if I wanted to. So let's give her a little bit more fire. Of course, this is the prom bay area back there, so definitely want to watch out for that. And Captain's Quarters. Oh, here we go. Captain's Quarters, you guys. We found it. We found it. Now, what is the code for this? It's been a little while. Uh, some stuff got... Unlocked here. What is unlocked? What is new? Oh, bar table. Woo, lad! Bar table. And... I think it was the engine, wasn't it? The... 
Wait, what in the world? A prawn suit? It said I was like one out of four. I don't know what's going on with it anymore. <laughs> prawn suit fragments and all that guys. Oh, wait, there it is right there. Yeah, Cyclops uh, engine blueprint. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the, uh, the whatever. It's still three out of 20 on that though. Oh, yeah, I was looking for the, uh, where was it? Here it is right here. Yeah, 2679 is the security code. So let's type that in. Two, six, seven, nine. Oh, yeah, I don't have to hit any buttons after that. All right. Open door. Captain's quarters. PDA. Captain's log. Stardate. Oh. Aurora miniature. Don't mind if I heck and do. <laughs> what do we have in our inventory we could drop? Uh, any dead batteries? No dead batteries. We have a poster, but I kind of want to keep that just because it's like a meme. So, ah. Uh, yeah, let's, eat, let's drink some water. Might as well pick up a heck and get ourselves some souvenirs, right? Data terminal. Integrating new PDA data. Neptune escape rocket blueprint. Whoa! That's what we need to get back home. Holy heck. 